Hi everyone, I'm here to do a review on the two Chanel purchases that I made while I was in Paris last week. Um, if you have any questions on purchasing um, handbags um, in Paris or abroad, um, as far as the VAT refund goes or anything like that, just message me and I'll be glad to answer those. But for now, for this video, I just want to strictly focus on the handbags themselves. This is um, called a handbag. It's actually a smaller, considered a small leather good or a wallet on chain. Uh, I got this because um, I normally don't carry too much. Um, when I'm running quick errands and things like that, I don't need much but the basics. Um, cell phone, credit cards, ID, keys. This fits all of those and um, you can wear it in so many different ways. I got the um, caviar leather, black leather as you can see. I chose to go with the gold hardware here. Um, honestly, I wanted silver because I just like the casual look of the, the clean and casual look of the silver. But um, when I was in Paris, these are actually really hard to come by here in the States. I know anyway where I'm from, the Saks, um, I, I had to go on a waiting list. And she said it probably would take up to six months. But one of the um, Chanel stores in Paris did have it. They only had it in gold. I thought I wanted silver. and um, But after getting this gold, I'm so glad that I got it because... Gold is the classic Chanel um, hardware color, and I think it looks great against the black. I think it looks really um, dressy and classic, and it's such a good contrast against the black. The silver sort of tends to fade in or blend in with the black. It's still great, and I still love the silver. As you can see, the next handbag that I'm going to show you is in the silver hardware, but for this tote, or for this, sorry, not tote, wallet on chain, I love the gold chain with it. So these are the different ways that you can wear it. You can just wear it on your shoulder. Um, I'm only 5'4", so I consider myself petite, so I probably wouldn't wear it just with the full, you know, stretched out wallet because it would lay a little bit below my hip. Um, if anything, I might do it as a crossbody with just the full chain, but that might be just a little too long for me. So what I would do is open it up and just cross it over once from the right and cross it over once from the left all the way around. And what that does is it shortens the length by several inches. And so now if I'm going to wear it like this, um, it just sort of um, falls right at my hip, which is a which is a perfect area. Perfect for me to put my, you know, um, have access to and put my hands, put my hands on. The second way to wear it is a little more dressy way. Um, so it's a full. So wear the stretch out the full chain, cross it over, then tuck one part in, and then you get two chains. <laughs> two chains. Close it. And it's a little more dressier look. Um, let's say if you're going out for dinner or something like that and you want to hold it. Oh, my earring just fell out. And you want to hold it, um, you know, on your shoulder like this. It's a really, really cute look. Really, really good look. So there's that. And then finally, you can hold it just as a clutch. Fold it over and just sort of wear it like this on your arm. And just close it so you can see how it. So sort of just wear it like this. And again, it is a wallet, a wallet on chain. If you do not want the chain, you can tuck it all in and it just becomes a wallet slash clutch. So just tuck it all in here. Tuck it all in. Close it, and here you go with this beautiful, beautiful wallet. And this wallet can probably fit, um, can definitely fit your cards because there are card slots in here along the back here. There is a little zippered area if you want to put your coins or any other items that you want to maybe zip in. There is this little slot here. Um, so it will definitely care, you know, it definitely serves as a function of a wallet with your card slots and your little zippered area for coins. 
It also is thick enough to fit your cell phone and keys. So cell phone, keys, and um, you could honestly probably fit compact or compact and a lip gloss or something in here as well. So they're very, very basics, but you know, for me, I don't carry that much, like I said, especially for running errands, this is a perfect bag and I can see myself using this a lot. And um, I'm someone who, you know, tries to make smart shopping choices and for me Chanel is a true investment and I plan on using this for decades and then I plan on passing it down to my daughter. So, um, and with this caviar leather, super durable, super high quality, I'm, I'm so glad I made this purchase and I think I will definitely get um, the use out of it. The next tote I, the next Chanel piece I got is the tote, the grand shopping tote. Um, and if you notice, I got this in the silver hardware. If you notice the contracts against the gold, you know how, you see how the gold just stands out and just looks so pretty. Silver, honestly, this is the grand shopping tote and it looks amazing in the gold color. Amazing, especially when you contrast it against the silver. Honestly, the gold beats the silver if you're looking for fancy, stunning. For me, I was looking for a casual, clean, um, and this fits me. Um, as you can tell, I don't wear too much jewelry, but the jewelry that I do have is silver or white, so it goes with that. Goes well with that. I feel like because this is such a casual tote, the gold makes it look so dressy, and you can use it for dressy purposes, um, um, definitely. But so there's no right or wrong when it comes to gold versus silver hardware. It's really what you prefer. And honestly, if you have to flip a coin and just go by luck, like whatever you've got. You can't go wrong. You can't go wrong with silver or gold. Really up to you. Um, this bag has open area, but it also has. Okay, so like the little watermelon tote, it has this little, um, this little slot, this little sleeve. What do you call this? A little. Um, slot for. <laughs> Whatever you want to put in the air, little papers or whatever. I probably won't use this as much because I honestly don't want to stretch this out. But it, I like the look of it. Um, so here are the three different sections of this wallet. I'm sorry, of this tote. It comes with this little care kit, shows you how to take care of it in all the different languages. It comes with a little um, wipe to wipe your purse down. This little cloth. Um, I'm keeping it in the bag for now, but I'll probably keep it in a separate area. So, three sections, open, zippered, open. So, in the first open section right here, there is a zippered little area. And it's actually pretty big, the authenticity card in here, but there's a lot you could put in here. You could fit a whole wall in there, like whatever you want to put in. For those of you who don't like the fact that it's open, for an open tote bag, there are lots of zippered areas um, if you're worried about someone grabbing, you know, something out of your bag. Here's a little strap where you can um, hook your keys on. It's, it's, it's part of this open tote area. The next area, the next section is the zippered area, which is goes, you know, to the very bottom of the bag. You could fit quite a lot in here. The, the third section is another open section, and it has a little, another little um, open, like, slot area where you can put whatever you want to put in there. I like, I actually like the openness of this tote because there are some times when you really just need to just grab things out of your bag, you know, water bottle, umbrella, you know, whatever whatever you have in here that you just want to be able to grab out without necessarily opening and closing all the time. So, you know, grand shopper tote, easy access to whatever you need to get in and out for those items that you don't necessarily um, worry about uh, being tucked away in. Again, love the silver hardware on this. Love the gold too. Can't go wrong with either. I chose this for my specific casual needs. Love this bag, also in the caviar leather. Um, I think it's a perfect size um, for anybody, really. I, I'm rather petite, but and this is a grand shopping tote, but um, I don't think it's too big for me. Others have complained that this is heavy, and maybe it will be once you know you wear it for a long period of time. But for me, I, I, I mean. I don't find it heavier than a lot of other handbags that I have, much heavier, especially of this size. I mean, if you're going to get this much handbag with these chains, of course it's going to be have some weight to it, but it's really not 
as heavy as I initially believed from other people's reviews. Um, but again, it, I might change my mind after I've been carrying this around all day. Thank you for watching. I hope that this video helps you if you're trying to decide between a wallet on chain or GST or um, between silver and gold hardware. I hope I kind of covered those points. Um, love this. Honestly, I'll probably use this more than any handbag that I have. This is very practical practical because I can fit my laptop in here and for days that I want to carry more things and you know when I'm traveling and things like that um, so if you're trying to decide which handbag to get I love the GST if you want it if you need a tote if you need a big bag um, that can carry a lot of stuff I hope this helps you um, when I was considering which bag to go for um, I watched a lot of these videos and they really did help me so I hope they help you and um, if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me and I will do my best to answer your questions. Thank you so much for watching.